because DOT, when they implemented this lane on 2nd Avenue, they left out some of the tough curve that they promised that would separate cyclists from, from traffic. So we're asking for them to put in the protection that they promised, or an even better case would be to fully parking protect it like they do all over the city and they already know it works. If you notice, all these cyclists are so happy to see friendly faces in the morning and also to have that buffer between moving traffic. Woo! Thanks, guys. <laughs> the human buffered bike lane has been done in cities all around the world. There's a lot of people just using this lane, um, not cyclists, and these are people driving. It's just a permeable space. Anyone can go in and out at any time, whether you're making a delivery and stalling for more than an hour, or you're just kind of temporarily unloading. Anything sends cyclists right into harm's way. in Manhattan. I need protection from the traffic, the wild traffic. So I live in Midtown and so this part of the city is special to me. Um, I would love to be able to ride on safe bike lanes, bike lanes all across Midtown and up and down and far too often I can't. There's a lot of moving trucks, there's a lot of speeding cars, taxis, so this painted bike lane has been really nice, but there's no protection. Look at this traffic behind us. This is one of the major downtown thoroughfares. One of the only safe ways for bicyclists to get downtown. And look at this, it's dangerous to be riding and not have any protection. It's fun, actually, uh, to be here with everybody wearing yellow, working as a team, and uh, knowing that we're helping these riders get to work safely.